Hey guys, uh, it's Sunday. I'm just outside getting some stuff done in the garden, primarily picking cherry tomatoes. You'll see, I've got a lot of cherry tomatoes right now, but that's not what I wanted to shoot this video about. Um, this is just going to be a quick video on one thing only. Just picking cherry tomatoes, and I've mentioned in previous videos that um, in the past I've battled tomato hornworms, and I was thinking to myself as I was picking that I saw no signs of tomato hornworm damage anywhere this year, and I was happy about that and wondering what the difference was, and I found out what the difference was. Hopefully this will focus well. See that thing right there? That is what is left of it looks like actually possibly two tomato hornworms. No, I guess it's one that folded itself in half. So I've heard of this before, but I had never seen it until now. That is a tomato hornworm that got in, um, uh, infected is not the right word, but got stung but I think it's pronounced Brachinid wasp, or Brassinid wasp, I'm not sure how you say it. But this wasp is a very beneficial insect. It uh, stings the hornworm, lays its eggs just underneath the skin, and for a while they just kind of hang out there. And then not too long afterwards the eggs start to hatch and they actually eat the hornworm. And then eventually they uh, come out of the skin and they spin these little cocoons that you're seeing the white stuff all over the outside of it and that's where they you know mature into regular wasps and then hatch and then fly away and they say that if you get these in your garden you'll basically never have tomato hornworm problems again because they will stay in the area and just always keep things in check so that's it I'm not a huge uh, expert on these things but I mean actually I think if you can possibly see it there I think I see one little tiny wasp walking around on the eggs. So this is a learning experience for me and I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you ever see this in your garden, definitely leave it alone, let those wasps hatch so you can have future generations in your area and hopefully you'll never have tomato hornworm problems again. All right, thanks guys, talk to you later.